Well, if you're looking for an escape from the cold this winter here in Korea, here's an idea. Museums. Two art exhibitions in Seoul are offering quite the contrast. One featuring works by the great past masters and the other looking at what could be the art of the future. Why not spend this winter at the museum? Here's Kim hye -sung. The canvas shows three women bending over in a field, picking up stray grains of wheat after a harvest. This is The Gleaners by 19th century French painter Jean-Francois Millet. To the right, you can also find three of the rough sketches Millet used to develop the masterpiece. Works by another renowned French painter, Claudia Monet, capture how light changes when it passes through the waters of a stream. This isn't Paris, but a gallery in Seoul now featuring around 130 famous works of art from the 19th and 20th centuries. We opened this exhibition to mark the 30th anniversary of the founding of the Orsay Museum in Paris as part of our ongoing cultural exchanges with France. Visitors can find rare pieces of art that have never before been shown outside of Europe. One of those rare pieces is Vincent van Gogh's Noon Rest from Work. It is a setting somewhat similar to Millet's work, but with a much more vibrant palette. I learned of Van Gogh's paintings through books. It's great to look at it up close like this and see how thick his brushstrokes are. It helps me understand more about the techniques of Impressionism. If you're looking for something more interactive, dynamic or contemporary, you can come to this gallery where the exhibition features works that combine art and artificial intelligence. Here, artists have collaborated with scientists to show how art looks through a so-called mixed reality. You can even create your own work here. In a work called Brain Factory, you put on a headset that records your brain waves while you watch the screen. Just think of an image triggered by the words that pop up, such as freedom or love, and a monitor shows the changes in your brain waves. Then, a 3D printer renders the data collected from your brain in a form that looks a lot like a spider web. You can also play air hockey with a robot that moves around using an artificial neural network. The goal was to win the machine. Uh, I think that uh, it's interesting to combine these machines, robots, uh, and the human uh, action to produce uh, art piece. A new form of art indeed, one that not only provides viewers with new experiences, but also offers some provocative notions of what it means for art and new technology to coexist in the 21st century. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.